and welcome to the second lesson of this R course. In this lesson I will show you some basic stuff that you can do with, uh, with R. Uh, so let's start uh, with uh, opening the main R GUI console. And when it's loaded, load package. And we can load the R commander from here. So just click to R commander and click OK. And this is the R commander. As I show you in the first lesson in this R commander, you can do uh, a lot of stuff. You can import data, you can use graph, plot, and statistics. Uh, I prepare a script uh, to show you how to do this uh, basic thing uh, with R. So uh, to open the script, just click on File, Open Script. I put it on my desktop. You can put it wherever you want. Open the script and open. And this is the script. Of course, R can be used as a basic calculator. So the first two lines show you how to use it. If you click on the line and click Submit, here you can see the result of your calculation. Of course, you can also highlight the entire row and Submit, and then the result is the same. So if I just click here, click Submit, and this is the result. Of course, uh, R is not just a calculator, it's a very powerful statistical language and uh, the major characteristic is that uh, it's object based so you have to uh, create objects and you can use uh, the entire object or just part of the object for your uh, uh, for your calculation and for your work so let's start with uh, uh, a little uh, look at the vectors um, a vector is uh, basically it's a matrix with uh, just one row. So, for instance, if you want to create this uh, vector, you can you have to name the object. In this case, I name it vector. This is the name of the object. You can use this string or the equal sign. And then there is the function C, which create the object, and this is the list of uh, the element inside the vector which is name in this case vector. I click submit as you can see here in the console it submitted the line without any error so now the object vector is create. If I want to take a look the, at the object I can use the function print and uh, within the route bracket put the name of the object that I just created so I can submit it and as you can see here there is the, the, the vector and all the element within the vector. Of course, I, I, I can name it in which way I want. For instance, I can create a, a test object, click submit, and then print test, and the result is exactly the same. So now I will show you how to subset uh, a vector, how to use uh, uh, every element within the vector and uh, the basic function to um, select an element uh, in a vector is uh, to call the element number within square bracket like in this case so for instance if I want to call the third element in the vector which is uh, this is the first this is the second this is the third element so if i want to call 56 i just call the the name of the vector and within square bracket i call the position of the element so if i submit this line as you can see here you select the element number three which is the 56 if i want to for instance sum two elements of the vector. So for instance, if I, if I want to sum the, the third element, which is 56, and the second element, which is 34, I just use this string. So it's just a, a basic sum within two elements. In, instead of writing the number, I can use the elements. 
I click and here it showed the, the results. The same function, I can use it with the, the, the function sum instead of writing plus uh, two element, I can use the function sum and of course I can use it with more than two elements. So for instance, if I want to submit this line, here you can see that the result is exactly the same. This is a, a major characteristic of R because um, you have a, a lot uh, of different function and so uh, to achieve your objective you can uh, you can follow a different path and uh, in the end achieve exactly the same result. This is a, a very powerful uh, uh, characteristic of R. If you want to calculate uh, the average of uh, of your uh, of the element within the vector you can just use the function mean and put the name of the vector and here you can see this is the mean of your elements another object which is very important in R is the matrix uh, a matrix uh, everybody know what, what the matrix is uh, so now uh, I, I, I put an example of how to create a matrix first I created three different vectors. Uh, every vector has 10 elements. The first vector uh, is uh, a selection of, uh, of elements from 1 to 10. Uh, this, uh, this string right here, uh, 1, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, basically it's a range. So uh, in this case it's from 1 to 10. So if I submit this uh, uh, this vector here, you see that it creates the vector, and then I, I use the function print c1. Sorry. You can see that it creates the vector the, the, the vector with the element one to ten. So in this case, it's exactly the the, the inverse. So from ten to one, so I can create this object. If I want to print it, just type 2 here, and then you can see the, the object. The third object, I create a vector from a sequence. So this is a sequence, this is a function sequence, and I, I say to the sequence to create an, a vector that starts from 10, reach 100, and with a step of 10. So in this case, you create, if I want to see what uh, the, the sequence looks like, I can Instead of creating the object that right clicking here and submitting the line, I can select in the row and hold only the sequence and click submit. And here you can see the sequence. Now I have my three vectors, so I can uh, create uh, the matrix. Here you can see that you create a matrix with this uh, vector, which is a a, a sum of these three elements. So this vector, if you want to see how this vector looks like, just select the function vector, which is the function C, submit, and here you can see that there is the first vector with this, the second vector and the third vector, one uh, near the other. So if I want to create a matrix from this vector, I have to basically subsect the vector, the three vector, and put each vector in one column. So I can say to the matrix that the number of columns are three and uh, instead of compiling the matrix by row, compile the matrix by column. So I said by row false. This is a logical true or false. So in this case, this matrix looked like this with the first vector, the second vector and the third vector. If I change the logical flag in the by row. So in this case, I said to the matrix, create a matrix from these uh, elements with three columns, but compile it by row. So in this case, the matrix looks like this. The first vector is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is the first vector. This is the second vector. And this is the third vector. Of course, you start compiling by row and not by column. Because I wanted the matrix that compiled by column, I said false, and I create the object. And this is the, the object, in this case, is mat. Of course, in this case, if I want to select an object within the matrix, 
uh, I cannot put just one element within the square bracket because every element in, in this matrix has two, basically it's like two coordinates. So it's the number of row and the number of column. As you can see here, there is uh, the, the number of each row and the, the number of each column and it suggests you how to uh, select an object. So if, if I want to select, uh, for instance, this 10 here, I can select it by using the, the row number 4 and the column number 2. So if I submit this line here, as you can see, it selects the number 7, which is the, because the matrix is, is this one, is compiled by column, so is the element in the row 4 and the column 2, which is the number 7. If I want to select another object in the, oh, the, the row 4 column 1, I can submit this a number 4. And as you can see here, the number 4 is exactly in this position. Of course, I can sum the two numbers. So for instance, I can sum three, the 7 and the 4, obtain 11. I can select just an entire row. So instead, I, I put the number of the row, but not the, the column number and you select the entire row, this is a vector, or I can select an entire column and put, instead of putting two name, two numbers, I put just the number of the column. In this case, you select the entire column, which is the, the vector C1. I can also um, sum an entire column plus three. So in this case, I want to sum each element of this vector plus three. I can, 1 plus 3, 2 plus 3, 3 plus 3. So if I want to do that, I just select the entire column plus 3. And as you can see here, each element is plus 3 in the, in the second vector. Another important class of object is uh, the data frame. Basically, a data frame is uh, like a matrix, but each column has a name. So for instance, in this case, I have this, my, my three vectors that I created before. Instead of creating a matrix with this string, I can create a data frame. Very simple, the function is data frame, and I put the, the element of each column. So if I want to see how this data frame looks like, I can click Submit, and as you can see here, there are the same columns, but each column has its own name. So if I want to create the object frame, I can submit this line. Here you can see that he created the object frame. And of course, the selection method is exactly the same as for the, the matrix. So if I want to select the element in the row number four, column number one, I can use the same, the same string. And as you can see here, he said the object four. So of course, if I want to select the column number one, I can use this string, or if I want to select the same column, I can also use the name of the column. So I put the, the name of the object, the symbol of the dollars, and the name of the column. So for instance, I want to, from the object frame, I want to select the column which name is C1. So in this case, frame C1, and as you can see here, we select the same column. If I want to save uh, the data frame that I just created, I can use uh, the function write table. In this case, I want to uh, write the data frame that I just created. So the frame, is, the object name is frame. The name of uh, the object I want to save, in this case, is test.txt within quotation mark. This is very important. And then within to, with these two options, I can say that I don't want to um, the row names and the columns names to be right in the in the final txt file. So I don't want the name. This is C1, C2, and C3 of the columns, and the row names, which is one, two, three. In this case, is this row over here. So I don't want that in the file. If I submit the line, see, F has created. The, the file so if I want to open it 
I just click read table quotation mark test dot txt separation a space a white space header in this case is false because I don't have I don't have an header because I don't I didn't save the column names in this case you see the, it, it gives a default column names in this case is the one with before if I want to save the column names I can put through here submit it again and then say through here and basically with this uh, option here I said to the file that the first line it's an header so the the first line is the the name of the columns so I don't want to be treated as numbers but as uh, as names so in this case I I can read this and as you can see here the name of the first uh, the line are the name of the columns okay so this is the end of the first lesson in this lesson you learned how to use R as a calculator, how to create vectors, matrix and data frame, how to save a data frame and how to read a txt file. In the next lesson we will see how to plot our data.